Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss how in one table, we can have a handout for a player and they can answer the question about a combat, a saving throw, a skill check, all in one single table, very easy to use table that you hand to a player and they just run with it. It's a my D&D 5e combat chart, chart and ability check and saving throw table. Uh, and it's very, very simple. Uh, down the left-hand side here is the armor class or difficulty check that they're trying to hit. Now they can either know this or the DM can know that number and just have them tell them that number. Uh, along the top is the character's bonus. Either it's their attack bonus or their saving bonus or their skill check bonus, whatever the bonus is. That's these top numbers up here. And then finally, all the numbers in white, that's the dice roll. So they take their d20, they roll it, they find the uh, column with their uh, character bonus, whatever the bonus is, the attack roll, the saving throw, the skill check. They scroll down to find their d20 roll. And then they look right across to the left-hand column and say, I hit armor class whatever that number is, or I, and my saving throw roll is whatever that number is. So it's very simple to use table. Um, as an example, now let's say we roll the seven. Let's say we're our fighter. That uh, doesn't have the greatest of strength, maybe just a plus two, it's first level. So the proficiency bonus is plus two. So that means that their uh, bonus is gonna be plus two, plus two, or four. So they would go to the column that shows four, go down to the number seven, which is their dice roll, and then go all the way to the left. So they would actually hit armor class 11 or less. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, so forth. So all the player would have to do is look up that plus four, go down to the seven, go over to the um, left-hand column there and say, I hit armor class 11. As a DM, you could say, yep, you hit it, or nope, you missed it. Uh, just doing a quick example here. Let's say we rolled a, well, of course, a 20 on a attack roll is always a critical success. However, on a skill check or a saving throw, it's not. Uh, especially with skill checks, because skill checks can actually go up to 30. Uh, they um, so they can be at from 0 to 30, which are, of course, 30 gets considered nearly impossible. But if they have extra bonuses to their, to a particular skill, it's possible that a character could roll a 20, add 10 to it, and get 30, um, which I've definitely had characters that have had that ability. So not unheard of. Um once again, when our attack example, that would be, of course, a crit success. Let's go ahead and do another example here. Uh, we could do an 11. Let's go with the same guy again. He's, his uh, bonus for attacking is plus four because of the strength is plus two and his proficiency bonus is plus two. So he swings that sword. He looks at the four column, goes down to the 11, goes all the way across and says, I hit armor class 15. And it's as simple as that. And the DM can say, um, yes, you hit or no, you, you missed. Or if the DM is wanting to not maybe perhaps give this chart to a player, they could just simply say, the player could say, I my proficiency bonus is uh, plus four. I rolled an 11. And of course the DM could um, look across and see what their uh, armor class that they hit is. But it really speeds things up, of course, if the player has this table and they can do the reference. And then all the DM has to, to say is, yes, you hit it or no, you missed it. Um, it's just much faster that way. And of course, what it does is it uh, cuts down on the player who rolls a, uh, let's say, for example, a 14. And they have to add some hard to add number to it, an eight maybe. That could be hard for, for some people, simple, easy for others. But your children, uh, for example, might struggle with adding that. Now, of course, it's good practice for them to add that. But uh, 
they could also use this chart and speed play along. Another example, of course, I got another crit. I'm just on fire here with this uh, dice roller. All right, got a 19 on this one, same guy. He goes down to 19, so he looks at the four, goes down to 19, goes across as I can hit armor class 23. Probably going to hit if he's a first level character and it's a balanced encounter, but maybe he's facing Tiamat at level one, in which case he just missed, in which case he should be running away. Oh, let's see here. We got a seven, number four, looking across again. He got that 11 again. So that's pretty much how this works. Now, if it's a saving throw, say it's a saving throw and your dex bonus is plus two, it's a dex save. You're together of a plus two. You don't. You're not proficient in dexterity saves. You're just oh, some wizards targeted you with a spell, and you have to do a dex save. You roll a three. So you look over here at the two. Uh, it's your plus two, and of course, three isn't even on this chart because it's so so bad. But you would save on a five. Uh, just because you'd go up one and over across, and of course, one less than six is five. So you probably didn't save. Well, let's go ahead and try that again. Maybe we'll get a better roll this time. We are not rolling well now. I just said I was doing great. And now, of course, the dice roller hates me. Let's get a better example, dice roller. Come on, dice roller. Better example. Well, that's a great example, I guess. So come down. All right, uh, plus two dex save. Roll the 19. So we save on a 21. Probably going to make it um, against most wizard spell save DCs. But maybe not. Here we roll the seven. So we look on column two, come down to seven. So there, in that case, we save on nine. Um, if the DC was nine, we would save. If the DC was 10, we would fail. If the DC was eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then we, then we also made it, of course. And of course, there is no crit fail in a saving throw, but you probably failed. And once again, of course, you could house rule that there is crit, crit fails and the uh, what happens with the crit fail. So that's really all there is to it. A very simple um, table. Hand that out to your players. How they can quickly and easily reference their roles in their 5e game. Uh, announce to the DM what their armor class they hit or what difficulty check that they hit or what skill check that they hit, because 5e uses the same table for everything. Back in the 1e days, two in 2e days, different tables uh, for, for various activities, various things. 5e has totally made that simple, and it's the same table for every check that's out there. All you have to do is create it and uh, use it. And I will go ahead and make this uh, image here is a downloadable it'll be down in the description where you can get that from all right well that's a short one today uh, thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up like bell icon and all the other exciting things there and uh yeah thanks catch you next time bye